Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Carly. And I'm coming to y'all with a story out of Salt Lake City, Utah. This story is about a nurse who was at work at the hospital. And the cops showed up, drug her out of the hospital, and placed her under arrest for simply just doing her job. Now, the incident that happened prior to this that led up to her arrest was solely out of her control. Pretty much what happened was there was a car accident involving two cars. The driver of the striking vehicle unfortunately did not make it. They passed away. The driver of the vehicle who was hit by the man, he actually suffered major burns all over his body, and he's currently in the hospital unconscious. So the police are conducting an investigation. However, they showed up to the hospital, and they wanted that nurse to draw this man's blood for their investigation. The problem with that was the man had not been placed under arrest because he was not at fault in the accident. They did not have a warrant for that man's blood, and the man was unconscious at the time. So what the police were doing was pretty much they were asking that nurse to complete an unlawful act by drawing that man's blood without his consent. Because if he's unconscious, he can't consent to them drawing his blood. And if there is no warrant and he's not under arrest, there is no need for them to draw his blood to give to police. So the police clearly did not understand that even though the nurse pulled out all type of paperwork, showing the law to them, letting them know that she was well within the right and that they were the ones that were asking her to complete an unlawful act. And I have this, it says obtaining blood samples for police enforcement from patients suspected to be under the influence. Okay? This was something that you guys agreed to with this hospital. The three things that allow us to do that are if you have an electronic warrant, patient consent, or patient under arrest, and neither of those things, the patient can't consent. He told me repeatedly that he doesn't have a warrant and the patient is not under arrest. So I'm just trying to do the, what I'm supposed to do. That's and she could not do that. They weren't having that, so they drug her out, placed her under arrest. Oh, please. No, we're done. No, no, we're done. Hey. We're done, sir. I had a good Hey. 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 And she spent about 20 minutes in the back of the cop car while they sat around and discussed what was going on and figured out that they could not legally charge her with anything. So she was released and not charged with anything. The officer was pretty much, you know, back at work doing his normal thing afterwards and which he's still doing today. He was not placed on administrative leave. He was not suspended or reprimanded for pretty much unlawfully arresting this woman. And this is crazy. So crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Also, make sure you visit my website, www.vividaudacity.com, where you can find any and all merchandise designed by me. There's also a new tab on there, guys. It's called Hurricane Harvey. That tab will soon be populated with shirts and plenty of other merchandise that you can buy and support for the Hurricane Harvey victims. 10% of the proceeds will be donated to the American Red Cross so that the Harvey victims will be able to receive some relief from both me and you guys. So thank you all for your support. Please make sure you check the shirts out. There are different ones to choose from. Whether you like them or not, honestly speaking, just do your part and just pick something out. Donate. Show the love. The people in Texas need our help. We got to pull together some way and do it and get it done somehow. I can't do it by myself, y'all. So help us out. Anyway, nonetheless, thank y'all for watching, subscribe, and I will see y'all.